Well, hello everybody. This is Eagle to Angel, and I decided to show you what I've been doing on my server. Well, not my server, Weber's server, but I'm on Weber's server. And, well, I decided to uh, build a medieval city. It's going to be a big project. And, well, I guess I decided also to start doing um, a let build series, which I, I'll show you maybe later in the video, the world that I chose for my um, let's build. And then possibly um, along with the let's build series I'm going to do tutorials on the buildings that I build in the let's build so you kind of get a, a double way of seeing how I build now some of the stuff that I build I've um, um, watched other youtubers and gotten ideas and inspiration and um, when I first started playing Minecraft I wasn't really that good of a builder so I decided to uh, watch a few YouTube videos and, and get some pointers and tips and now I think it's since I've become a pretty good builder myself I've decided that maybe I should pass these tips and and stuff on to other people and of course I'll give uh, credit where credit is due and so without further ado this is what I've been working on this is the castle to my um, city that I'm going to be building. Um, this village was already here in the desert and um, what I'm planning on doing is incorporating the villagers from this village into the city and changing their houses but kind of still keeping that as its own little community. Um, but I am going to change it a little bit because there's a bunch of caves underneath there that need to be um, incorporated and lit up and make it look nice and what I did is actually um, playing around with the breeding system um, which now I actually realize that um, this isn't big enough to um, create a, a, a big enough environment for breeding um, so I was trying to do a breeding system here which actually doesn't work so I put a bunch of doors in here with a villager inside of it and I put some or trap some villagers in here I'm actually getting more breeding funny thing about it out of these guys which looks like whoa lag um, which looks like they the one that they bred grew up grew up so the more doors you have in a, in a city the more population you'll get and then and then uh, that will spawn iron golems like this one here and other ones around like him over there um, and it takes I think like three doors where where did you come from yeah run from the zombie run from the zombie alrighty well let, let me let me actually let this guy out. There we go. And he'll come over here and take care of the zombie. So, yeah. <laughs> watch him. He's going to he's going to watch him take care of the zombie. Oh, the zombie's not close enough. Oh, maybe I need to get rid of that block there. Yeah. I guess the zombie's not a threat since he's on the other side of that. Anyway, um, how the house works is that you actually have to have, let's see, let me get some wood here. You actually have to have um, five blocks inside the door. So, like this, and then the door has to be covered. Oops. Okay, I'm going to have to do it this way, huh? Okay, so the door is covered. So now, one, two, three, four, five. 
So one or two, three, four, five. Now that right there is actually considered a house by Minecraft um, physics. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> and then, yeah, so if you take this, this is now I can get your opinion on something. Okay, well, we're going to go get an opinion on, on, or we're going to go give an opinion. So let's TP to T Dog. 15. See what he has to say. Whoa. Okay, this is the first time I've been to T Dog's place. And this is pretty cool nice Let's see, I like the middle one. Uh, so he wants to know if he should use a. Oh, I spilt middle one. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm using W's now. Um, how does red would look? I am a slow typer, sorry. Just enough contrast. Redwood goes good with the goes good with the green. I think this is, sorry about the silence there for a minute, but I think this is his zombie apocalypse island. And this is, I really, really, really like the design of this place. This is really modern. I I, I am not a modern builder, I'll say that right now. Um, he was just commenting earlier on my build, and... I am thoroughly impressed with this. This is nice. This is very nice. I really, really like this. I think that uh, I could take some pointers from him even <laughs> on modern stuff. Uh, I'm really good with uh, medieval and gothic. But uh, yeah, I think this is very, very nice. I love this modern look. 
Um, there's another YouTuber I watch, his name is Corrales. Um, he does really nice modern and gothic stuff, or, or medieval stuff, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's where I got a lot of my pointers from, was from watching Corrales and, and some other people, uh, just watching some Let's Plays and a few tutorials, and I can't think of some of the names right now, but I'll, uh, I'll uh, look them up and put in their names um, throughout the Let's Build and stuff. So, I kind of like how he did this here. This is nice. You could actually use this as a um, an airplane wing even. You could incorporate this into um, building a spaceship. Um, this is very nice. I, uh, I really like this. Uh, maybe I should tell him I'm filming this. <laughs> I know, I'm a terrible speller too. <laughs> I can't spell and I can't type, but I can talk and I enjoy doing this. <laughs> Take a drink of my tea. Yes, I'm an American, but I love tea. <laughs> uh, but I drink it cold. Yeah, iced tea. Good stuff. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. I uh, think he's doing an awesome job. I can't wait till it's finished. So, anyway, I'm going to go back to spawn real quick. And uh, show you what our spawn looks like. This is our spawn. This was built by Toasty2. Um, they have a pixel land over that way. Um, I'll show that in, in a different video. And uh, our uh, there's a nightclub thing down here underneath, and uh, the portal room over here, and our shops are back there. But this right here is my house. Um, if you watch Weber 101's video on a Christmas town, um, I use this style a lot. I built almost the whole Christmas town in this style of build. I am going to use a few of these buildings in my Gothic medieval city. Um, there's another style that I've been working on as well that I really haven't gotten started on um, building that much. It looks like a creeper might have knocked something off of here. Uh, we have uh, creative people and, and, and survival people on this server, so a lot of times the survival uh, people will come through here and, and uh, creepers will be creeping and blow them up and then they, they try to rebuild as much as they can, so I don't fault them for not being able to. I mean, that's uh, um, it's hard to do when you don't have the resources. This little house is my son's, actually. Um, he goes by the methodical one. Uh, he's not doing any videos right now, but maybe in the future. I don't know what his plans are right now. He's just graduating from high school. Uh, plan on going to college, so maybe we'll see some videos from him in the future. And that would be awesome. Because I think he's a really good builder and a good game player. He's one of the best game players I've seen. But I really haven't seen that many except for what's on YouTube. I should rebuild this lighthouse, even though... It's a nice lighthouse. I should make it more medieval. So we have a lot of medieval ships, or at least 17th, 18th century ships. And of course, I showed this ship, which I built, in a video. And then, um, let's see, I help. Well, I got help from the server people 
people on the server. There we go. <laughs> um, to build the arena, we have a spleef arena and a paintball arena. I designed and built both of them with the help of other players that would come on and help me out. So let's work there. No, oh, warp does not exist. What did I do? Oh, what did I do? Oh, the warps must have gotten messed up. Okay, well, that's all right. Did I even? Yeah, I guess that's all right. So, I'm going to um, pause the video here now. Um, I actually did a video on the arena, um, uh, but Weber it, did a uh, server tour a, a video, and I'm waiting for him to post that first, and then I'll um, put up my video of the arena, and I need to do a video of the paintball arena too, which is over in that direction, and the, the spleef arena is back over in that direction, but uh, I guess I'll take you down here real quick and show you. Uh, what we have down here this is the uh, nightclub thing I'm not sure who designed it but I know uh, Day, Dana Dan I'm not sure how to say his name I'm sorry if you're watching this video um, you'll have to uh, get on Skype with me and tell me how to pronounce your name but anyway he rebuilt this after the server got griefed we had a player get on and uh, release a bunch of wither bosses all over the arena I mean all over the server <coughs> excuse me and uh, it destroyed Christmas Town too which I'm really sad because I didn't get to make a video of Christmas Town before it got destroyed but I am gonna rebuild it you buy it I crapped it okay Mm-hmm. Okay, so s some people have come through and, and made their own shops. I actually don't have a shop in here. I should should take this shop. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the train station was made by Zapper and um, Ed Scott. And I thought it turned out pretty cool. I'm not going to go down it right now because it really doesn't go anywhere right now. Well, at least the last time I looked at it, it didn't go really anywhere. And in here, um, Toasty designed this, um, but I helped finish it and I put up the pillars and, and uh, but Toasty designed everything else. Um, I did some little touch it aesthetics for him and uh, we kind of built it together but he did the majority of it so anyway I'm down the red hall I'm this is going to be what my hall is going to look like eventually all the way down so I'm going to pause the video here and I'll get back to you when I get back to my medieval so I'm back and uh what my plans are is I plan on building a whole city in this area uh, making it go back in through here making a little bay right here in this river and uh, a little little uh, I just said it earlier my brain just went <laughs> uh, uh, Anyway, like little town, little town sections in little different areas will have their own little sections. And then I'm going to um, wall, put a wall all the way around the whole city. And um, that'll, there'll be bridges and, and walkways and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, um, river boats going through here because this is just a river but the river does connect 
all the way to the ocean which is right over here and I, I have to come through and, and clean some of this up and make it where the boats can a little bit bigger boats can make it through like this um, right here was connected and I actually cut it out and I need I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger on both sides cut it out and make a bridge maybe over the top of it um, I really really like this mountain right here in this um, uh, cliff edge right here this I think this is awesome I'm gonna do something with this I might put another castle or maybe a monastery uh, 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 something like that up there um, and it's just something to go along with the city uh, there'll be roads and tunnels and all kinds of stuff coming over this way because I'm gonna make a port city and I'm gonna change this I'm thinking about I actually um, took some of this out yesterday oh the blocks are still there uh, TNT has been disabled on the server so what I do is I use a creeper and I uh, make a hole so he doesn't jump out and then I get real close and hit him and he goes boom and he digs it for me <laughs> and it works really good when you don't have uh, TNT and you're in survival or if you got really good blast protection on your outfit so then I'll come back through and fill all this in with water, because I want to cut. I want to actually cut this back and smooth this around the corner and make another uh, make another lake right here. Maybe have a little um, inn with a tavern or something up here on the hill or on this side or on this side. I'm not sure which side to put it on yet. Uh, I'll probably make a road going through the desert and maybe one over that way and then of course I'm gonna have to widen this out here as well for the bigger ships and uh, it comes out right over here and luckily I just happen to luck out that there just happens to be a small little village right here already it's just a really tiny it's got three houses and a chapel and uh, a well and it's perfect because I'll just change these houses because of the way they're they're set up they're perfect and I'll just change them to my style um, maybe redo the chapel a little bit add in a uh, blacksmith and a stable and then a um, docks over here and then I'll have bigger ships out in the water and little ships going up the river and uh, just have a nice little port city right here uh, I haven't actually came up with a name um, for my gothic city well it's a gothic medieval city is what it's going to be it's going to kind of be a combination of both and that I didn't see that before that is cool this is going to be perfect I will use that that is totally awesome so yeah that is what my plans are there's gonna be a little port city here it will be in a gothic medieval style um, everything I'm going to build in this area is going to be gothic medieval um, so far, I am the only one working on it. Um, my son, as soon as he gets creative, is going to help me. And we're going to work on it together. He's going to... Um, obviously, I'm just going to let him go off and just build what he wants to build. Uh, but we are going to have somewhat of a plan. Like, I really, really, really would like to have, like, maybe a monastery or a Buddhist temple or... Um, something like that up on this hill and um, encompassing this area is in uh, have like walkways with with railing medieval railing all the way around this and then somehow 
make a road going up to it. Yeah, I lo I want to do something with this too, but at the same time, I kind of want to just leave it. Um, I'm not sure yet. If I might I might put a, a a watchtower or guard tower on top of that, or maybe a a beacon. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with that yet. Um, then there's going to be a little village right here. So this this area right here and this island right here are actually going to be separate from the city. There, that one and this one aren't actually going to be walled in. The walled in city is actually going to be on the main part over here, and then this one and this area will be outside and there'll be I'm not sure about making any lighthouses in this area but like maybe a windmill over here um, watchtowers are going to be strewn all over the place um, I was actually I, I, I actually just asked boy I stuttered there um, T-Dog to come over and give me some advice or, or his suggestion or his opinion there we go of where I should put the entrance to my um, chapel I'm gonna put a chapel right here it's gonna be a pretty good sized chapel too so I might I might push that back to right in here somewhere maybe um, but uh, I was trying to decide whether or not to face it where the entrance was right here or right here and both of us decided that it would be better if it was faced over here so I think I'm gonna do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and build that off camera and I'll just show you from time to time periodically uh, my progress on this build and then maybe with T-Dog's permission I'll show you since we got to see what he was doing maybe I'll show you um, his progress as well so anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.